The public's affection for the NHS is beyond question. But healthcare is under huge pressure. Overstretched budgets, rising costs, staff shortages, increased demand, alongside new technology and innovation, all increase the likelihood of safety incidents. With around 100 serious safety incidents reported daily across the NHS, a rate largely unchanged over the past two decades, we need to find more effective ways to guarantee patient safety. Analyses of safety incidents have revealed a wide range of contributing factors and that blameless staff often inherit existing system problems. For example, staff shortages can mean higher workloads, which increase turnover and create further staff shortages. Attempted alleviation through hiring temporary staff brings unfamiliarity with the workplace, which leads to more interruptions and, ironically, a workload increase. It's fertile ground for mistakes to occur. Systems thinking therefore encourages the view that incidents are not usually caused by a single catastrophic decision or action, but by dynamic interactions between people, tasks, technology and working conditions, including management, regulation and policy, which typically escape analysis. Let's take an example of a medication error, insulin overprescription. The diabetes specialist nurse writes the recommended dosage using an assessment form. A busy prescribing doctor misreads it and prescribes 100 units instead of 10. The outcome? The patient is discharged, but soon after readmitted to an already overworked emergency department. Root cause analysis identifies the mistake and may recommend retraining and personal reflection by those involved. Certainly next time, the doctor will take more care. But what if, next time, it's a different doctor? The same incident could happen again. Systems thinking allows us to explore the underlying dynamic interactions between people, technologies and policies within and across levels of the whole systems. It highlights a clear feedback mechanism for a purchasing team, regulatory bodies and manufacturers regarding the confusion risk in the medicine name and requests improvement. It gives the prescribing responsibility to the specialist nurse so that the number of potentially unsafe interactions can be reduced, regardless of changes of staff. It identifies the need for an adequate workload level and recommends staff be reminded of their responsibility to voice their queries. As systems thinking relies on more than single actions by individuals, it offers an opportunity for longer-term learning and lasting change. And if immediate action isn't possible, organizations at the very least accumulate an evidence base for future changes. By empowering people to speak up and use their skills and knowledge to act safely, systems thinking places emphasis on staff as a resource for safety rather than a potential source of problems. If you're looking for effective and sustainable ways to prevent patient harm from incidents, embrace and encourage systems thinking in your investigations. For more information, please visit our website.